when I was young, I was looking at the star with my telescope, and that's probably when I found nature fascinating. Then later on, I realized that being a scientist is the job that allows to study nature. Hello, I am Davide Correlli. I am the uh, director of the Laboratory of Computational Plasma Physics at the University of, uh, of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. My team uh, works prevalently on uh, computational plasma surface interactions. So what is a plasma? Let's start from a gas, which is simpler. Imagine to put a gas inside a box. Now, imagine to heat up the gas, uh, so the, the particles begin to hit the walls with larger and larger energies. At some point, the, there is a phase transition uh, where the uh, atoms of the gas becomes ionized, so there is one electrode that is stripped off from the atoms. And inside that box, you no longer have a gas, you have a plasma. The interaction of the plasma itself with the walls is different, mainly because there is a, a thin layer, which is called a plasma sheath, at the interface between what is inside and the walls uh, that is accelerating the particles. So when a plasma is interfaced with uh, a liquid surface, uh, there is a very complex set of reactions that enters here. So depending on the polarity, the electrons are either pushed toward the liquid surface or uh, attracted upward toward the, toward the electrode. When they're pushed toward the liquid surface, uh, they essentially stick to the surface and they form a, a layer of solvated electrons. And this layer has an extremely important role uh, in determining the fate of the radicals that are eventually entering the water and dissolving into the solution. And so one has to understand uh, the role of the different components of the plasma, namely electrons and ions, and how they interact with the liquid and what are the physical and chemical modifications that they do to the liquid. Depending on the regimes of operations of the plasma, you can trigger the delivery of uh, specific chemical radicals to the liquid or uh, avoid that. So it's a system that can be highly fine-tuned uh, depending on the, on the applications. I think one of the most fascinating things that you can do uh, in science uh, is capturing the behavior of nature using a model. It's the linking point between theory and experiments. When you see a model that is producing results that agree with measurements, you essentially take uh, all the know-how and the knowledge that is lumped into a single or multiple equations uh, and you try to explain things. It's at the very basic of the scientific method. There are a number of uh, uh, reasons we uh, should continue to investigate plasmas. Uh, they not only bring uh, societal benefits at multiple levels uh, for the everyday life, uh, but when you think about applications like, for example, fusion energy, they can potentially bring clean electricity to the grid. So understanding this state of matter, the fourth state of matter, I think is one of the big priorities that mankind should have. <laughs>